good morning everybody uh, welcome back to the channel I just wanted to revisit this bit of land that we reviewed uh, before harvest so I shall show you some footage of that in a second but here we have uh, what used to be um, grassland and it uh, that's had very little fertilizer or chemical input and is growing a fabulous crop of mustard and last year it was uh, Lennox spring wheat and then off over my other shoulder uh, also mustard uh, very much shorter and uh, same seed rate same treatment the machines just travel from one side straight through to the other and there used to be a ditch here which we've removed hence the split uh, this side long-term arable that side long-term grass no other difference of treatment so we have had it it's har been harvested i've got footage of uh, the yield maps to show you a comparison of that which is really interesting so um, this is a crop of Lennox it was a spring sown we would like to sell it as a sow it as a splexy wheat but we didn't get the opportunity this year it was too wet so uh, it follows a cover crop a mustard vetch cover crop and here you can see modeled by my dog it is very short okay and we are talking we are talking eight inches 12 inches something like that we are on a tram line here but it is consistently short it hasn't had a lot of nitrogen i will say that it hasn't had, it's only had about uh, 60 kilos of n and it was under stress in the drought when it got its first growth regulator of Clormaquot modus and uh, that had a big effect I will but what is really interesting is I am only about 20 yards away now so previously I was standing about there I'm about 20 yards away this crop here is a good it, ch it changes but I would say mid thigh here it is really quite an exceptional crop and again still only the 60 kilos of N this side of the line this side of the footpath this side has also had uh, medax uh, a second application with a medax growth regulator so this has had two growth regulators whilst the short sides only had one and the only difference is an old fence line that used to be here this side has been in permanent pasture for um, well, probably 20 years and has had a low input very rarely had fertilizer no agrochemicals and I don't think this has anything to do with uh, organic matter. This is microbial or biological activity. We are on relatively strong soil here. So, so you wouldn't expect uh, to see much activity or much difference on, um, on an average year. But on a droughty year like this it really has become quite obvious so it's rare that you get examples like this but i think it's worth taking note of now it's worth mentioning why am i concerned about this well of course yen shows quite clearly a direct correlation between uh, biomass and yield potential so effectively by limiting the biomass of the crop we are also limiting its yield potential so because we have yield sensors on our combine that help us map yield as we as it drives across the field what i will try and do is come back to this field after we have the combining data and show you the yield map and what response yield response this has caused here we have the yield map the area in orange and red in the northeast corner yielded less than four tons per hectare but the yellow and green area yielded seven to eight tons some peaking at just over 10 tons per hectare 
not too shabby for no artificial N. Overall, the whole field average was nearly seven tonnes per hectare. So as you can see, we'll walk out there in a minute, but as you can see, it is somewhere sort of mid-welly depth height. Whereas this side is sort of mid-thigh height. The strip in the middle, we just tried to cultivate it to level it out a bit more. There was a little bit of an undulation in the ditch after settlage, so that's, that's why this looks slightly different here in the middle. Um, well, from there to here has been cultivated, but this is, uh, has had exactly the same treatment as this side, but obviously quite noticeably different. As you can see, the mustard is sort of middle and height of my welly, and we have mustard here, and we have, this is buckwheat, uh, very, uh, quite famous in generative circles for its ability to fix uh, pea. So, um, the idea here is to have a dig. The problem is soil structure, but as my wife pointed out this morning, it's very uniform. It's very unlikely that the damage is so uniform. It's far more likely to be either uh, biological damage to the biology or uh, lack of organic matter. We have in the past raised cover crops with sheep on this land, so therefore I would anticipate that uh, the biology is probably quite good. We have some lovely, some lovely big earthworms there, so the biology is not too sick. Um, they tell us in regenerative circles that you should be looking for vertical strata through your soil. And here you can quite clearly see the lines are running um, horizontally, indicating that we have a compaction layer. And I would say that it is probably about five inches down. As you can see, it's definitely breaking the soil itself is flocculating quite well, it's breaking up, um, lots of roots, these finer roots, this is like this, this is what we are really looking for, this is what gives root, uh, soil its structure and as you can see as we break it down, this must have been an old wheat plant, there's plenty of roots. Us. So we've travelled all the 40 metres on the other side of the cultivated strip. Mustard is mid thigh. Uh, obviously, I've got quite short legs, but uh, that's still going to be um, 30 odd inches. Um, so we're just trying to we'll move slightly to the side, find a, a slightly clearer patch, and we will do the same test. And we have a look at this soil. Straight away, you can look at that lovely fat earthworm there. He seems like a, he seems like quite a young chap. And apparently, earthworms breed when they get to a certain size. So they need to be fed in order that your population increases. More noticeably. More, more of these foreign roots in this sample. As you can see, it really breaks, breaks down and roots up throughout the profile. And again, this time, and unlike the last time, there is no there's no split in the soil. And in fact, it breaks when we break it there. It breaks vertically rather than horizontally. So let's try again here. Again, breaks vertically rather than horizontally and plenty of roots all the way through the profile. So I would conclude, but look at it, another lovely earthworm. And so 
this soil is, is beautiful, even though we've had, it's coming on now for three months of rain in October, this soil it, is, is still in good heart. We have got puddles around the outside, but overall 